What's up, everyone? Kyle here. Welcome to this edition of From Around the World Fridays. Today, I'm showing off some of my postcards. Um, my hope is that this inspires you, gives you some fun images to look at, and inspires you to travel to some of these places. Um, I'll have I'll have more parts to this because I have a ton of postcards um, from all the places I've traveled to. Um, so we'll definitely do other parts um, as time goes on. But I hope you enjoy this edition of it and um, let me know what you think of some of the places. Maybe you've been there as well. Um, but let me know what you think. And um, yeah, I'll see you around the world soon. All right, let's take a look at some postcards here. Now, I have a ton of these, so probably won't go through all of them. But uh, let's take a look at a few. So I'm going to start with this pile over here. And it looks like, yeah, so Bogota, um, that was one of my most recent trips. Um, yeah, this is the Plaza de Bolivar. Um, I stood right there, which is cool to see. Um, that's one of my favorite part about postcards is, you know, you, you get a, a really good picture of some place that you've already been. So, um, or that you've seen. So it's, it's kind of a nice memory there. Uh, another one of Bogota here. Um, again, beautiful, beautiful city. Um, we'll zoom in here a little bit. Okay. Got Bogota. The Museo, Museo de, del Oro, which was the Museum of Gold in Bogota. There's a couple from that. Um, I always get a couple from pretty much every place I go to, so that's why I have so many. Um, let's see, we got Cartagena here in Colombia. Uh, it's a beautiful picture there. We got another one from Cartagena. And another one from Cartagena. Ah, I love that one. Beautiful site. And looks like we got one more. There you go. Um, beautiful town. Definitely uh, lots of postcard worthy sites there. Um, we got Yosemite, which uh, so beautiful. I love Yosemite. I'd love to spend more time there. Um, I took basically the same picture from the same spot where this postcard is, so that's kind of fun to have the postcard and my own picture of this place. Um, and then we got Half Dome um, in Yosemite. And we got another one, Yosemite. And so many beautiful places there in Yosemite. I'd love to go back. We got Sequoia National Park. Um, another beautiful national park there. And looks like another Yosemite. I think there's a whole, there's a deal on postcards or something when I was there. Um, okay. Yeah, more of Yosemite there. And then we got this one, which is the Nevada State Capitol Building. Um, that's in Carson City, Nevada. Um, yep, Nevada State Museum. Um, went there, but Yosemite and Sequoia was all on, on one trip as I was coming home uh, from San Diego, uh, which was a super fun trip uh, that I really enjoyed. This is in Nevada as well, Governor's Mansion. Um, another sequoia, two more sequoia there. Um, beautiful places again. Uh, Lassen, I think that's how you pronounce it, Volcanic National Park. Um, definitely wish I would have had more time to uh, explore here. Very beautiful place um, with a unique geography. Um, so definitely like that place. We got another one. We got a couple more here. Lassen. Let's see there. And let's see. Got another one there. Beautiful sights there. Um, Kings Canyon National Park. This was on the same trip as well. Um, there's General Grant, um, the nation's Christmas tree, as it says there. Um, just massive, <laughs> massive trees there. Um, but really enjoyed that park as well. And Kings Canyon again. Kings Canyon again. 
Um, all of these places are just so beautiful. Um, just loved them. Um, Seaside, Oregon, in the Oregon coast here. Um, really enjoyed my time there as well a few years ago. Um, beautiful place to spend a day or two in the summer or a weekend. Um, I did a day trip with my sister there, and it was a ton of fun. And another seaside here. And we got Cannon Beach, um, Haystack Rock, famous famous sight to see you there. Um, again, really beautiful. And what else we got here? We got Milwaukee. A couple, uh, couple postcards of Milwaukee, which I've been to multiple times now. Um, beautiful city. Um, actually really love Milwaukee and I love exploring that. Um, you can check out my video about that. That was the first one I did um, in From Around the World Friday. So um, yeah, good spot there. We got Dallas. Don't mess with Texas. Um, I really like Dallas as well. I went there a couple years ago. Actually, I've been there twice in the last couple years, but fun city. There's some cool spots there for sure. Um, definitely love the, the Texas vibe there. Got the Fort, uh, Fort Worth stockyards. That's an old picture of them. Um, and there's a picture of what it kind of looks like today. Um, that's a fun, fun place to hang out and explore and, and learn some of the, uh, some of the history of Texas there and the whole, uh, cattle drives and all that, um, which they still do today. Um, there's a couple more Fort Worth, uh, postcards really loved, uh, Fort Worth and we'll go back. Um, lots of good bars to go to there too. <laughs> There's another one of Dallas. Um, actually got to go in the top of there where that little ball is. Can't remember the name of that. Um, some, some of my friends from Dallas uh, should let me know. Um, but yeah, that was fun spots. And uh, these are some of my favorite ones here. We got uh, the Christmas Story House uh, postcards. Um, so I actually went to the Christmas Story House where they filmed part of it. Um, that was a couple of years ago. And uh, yes, they do have that lamp in the window there, um, which is fun. I got a little uh, little ornament of that lamp, <laughs> which was awesome. Um, but the Christmas Story House, another Christmas Story House there. That's the outside. Um, it was fun getting to tour it. And we got West Virginia here. Um, and the West Virginia State Capitol, which I went to. Um, which I really enjoyed. Would definitely love to explore West Virginia a lot more, um, see more of the countryside um, because there's places that look like this one. Um, so yeah, definitely would love to explore more there, but I guess I'll have to make a, another trip. And it uh, looks like we got, this is at in Toledo, Ohio. This is the Museum of the, of the Great Lakes. And uh, actually really enjoyed it. A lot of, a lot of history with that that I, I had never heard of. Um, don't, before going here, I didn't really know much about the, uh, the Great Lakes. Um, so it was kind of fun to learn a little bit about that. And got to go on one of these on this uh, old uh, cargo ship, uh, which is humongous. Um, so definitely recommend checking that place out as well there. Um, okay, what else we got here? We got Sandia Peak. This is in Albuquerque. Um, totally recommend this if you're ever in Albuquerque. Um, take this up to the top um, because the view is amazing. Uh, you can see forever. <laughs> um, definitely recommend it. And it looks like we got Theodore Roosevelt National Park. Um, one of my favorite national parks. It was so beautiful. Um, and really kind of a hidden gem, I think. We don't see or hear much about it. Um, and I think it really is a hidden gem in, in uh, North Dakota. So definitely go check that out as well. And we got a couple from Santa Cruz. Um, I got these when I my friend Manny and I um, drove back from San Diego to Washington State. Uh, we stopped in Santa Cruz to see some, some of my family. 
and hang out for a bit, but Santa Cruz is a very beautiful area and a fun place to spend some time. Got that. Alcatraz. Um, we also went on this trip to Alcatraz. And uh, yeah, Alcatraz is such a unique place. Um, it was fun getting to tour it a little bit there. Um, yes, I did spend time on Alcatraz. Um, but yeah, that was, that was a fun time. Definitely recommend taking that tour too. Um, I learned a lot about the history, uh, which there's, there's actually quite a bit of history there. And let's see what else we got here. Grand Canyon, beautiful. Um, I think that picture speaks, <laughs> speaks a lot of words there. Grand Canyon is amazing. And you have, that's one thing that you have to see in your lifetime. If you see nothing else, Grand Canyon is insane and totally worth it. What's that? We got Badlands National Park, one of my favorite national parks as well. Um, such a unique uh, landscape and so beautiful. And you can do it pretty easily um, within a day or half a day or whatever. Um, but beautiful place in uh, South Dakota. And Wind Cave National Park, which again, I think is one that we don't hear much about. Um, it's in South Dakota, but um, I really enjoyed it. It's um, the, there's caverns that you go down into and um, such a unique, unique place. Um, pretty crazy. It doesn't look like there's anything there when you're, when you're driving to it because it's all underground. Um, but pretty amazing to see. And it looks like we got another South Dakota postcard there. I actually really enjoyed driving through South Dakota. It's got a lot of beautiful landscapes and uh, I would definitely go back and explore more. And uh, we got Helena, Montana. Um, another beautiful place. Um, these, these were all on a road trip um, that I took through the Midwest um, in the West um, when I was going back to school. So yeah, Montana, beautiful place, especially in the summertime. You got Boulder, Colorado and the Flatirons there. That's a really fun hike um, if you're looking to get out in Boulder. Um, Boulder's a, <laughs> an amazing area. Um, all of Colorado is really beautiful. But uh, yeah, there's Boulder. And it looks like we're back at Theodore Roosevelt National Park. I apologize, apologize not all of these are, are in order. Um, yeah, another one there, North Dakota. Um, I feel like this is a good, a good picture of North Dakota. Um, there's actually a lot of beautiful things there in North Dakota and I, and I definitely, uh, I, I definitely enjoy the landscape. It's a fun place to drive through in the summer and you get to see some crazy weather actually too. That's a whole other story, which I can talk about. Rocky Mountain National Park, um, beautiful national park in Colorado. Um, totally should go there as well. We got here Petroglyph National Monument down in Arizona. Um, I really love this as well. Fun place to drive through and see all the all the petroglyphs. Um, beautiful. I mean, uh, I said Arizona. I meant uh, New Mexico. <laughs> um, the petrified forest is what I was thinking about in Arizona, but Petroglyph National Monument, beautiful place. Totally recommend it. In Wyoming, I feel like that's a lot of, there's a lot of good images of Wyoming right there. Um, Wyoming is a beautiful state as well. Okay, what else? Oh, there's Petrified Forest. Um, that's a fun place to drive through and, and see all the, all the petrified wood. Um, so definitely go check that out as well. Then we got the Crazy Horse National Monument, or Crazy Horse Monument in South Dakota. Um, it's near Mount Rushmore, and they've been working on this thing forever, and they are going to be working on this thing forever. Um, but it's pretty cool to see where they're at with it um, at this point in time. And uh, it'll be fun to go back in the future and see how it's changed. And <laughs> Napoleon Bonaparte here. This was at the Mammoth, uh, Mammoth Hot Springs. Yeah, the Mammoth site. 
in uh, Hot Springs, South Dakota, um, kind of like the very southwest part of South Dakota. Stop there, and they, there's a big mammoth find there. Um, and so this is one of them that they found there. Um, but pretty cool place to, to check out. And we got the Winslow Meteor Crater. Um, this thing is insane to see in person. Um, I really enjoyed getting to see this. Um, it is so massive. Um, I, I've, I've flown over it multiple times and you can see it from way up high <laughs> in the sky. It's, uh, it's pretty insane to see. Um, it's, it's really hard to describe, um, but this is a fun place to check out. And uh, we got Santa Fe, New Mexico. Um, that's a fun town. Uh, lots of art there. Um, definitely a good place to spend some time. And Mount Rushmore, I mean, we've all heard about that, but Mount Rushmore, beautiful place. It's insane, the, the amount of detail and work that went into this, and it's, it's fun to see in person for sure. And we've got Charleston, South Carolina, um, really fun city. Um, I'd totally recommend uh, going to explore Charleston. Um, my mom and I had a great time exploring down there. We've got a couple others from Charleston here. Rainbow Row, beautiful street in Charleston. Got the Magnolia uh, Plantation, which is a beautiful plantation just outside of the city. And there's another one of it. I mean, that's honestly what it, what it actually looks like. Um, another picture of Charleston there. Beautiful city, fun to walk around. Um, let's see. Yeah, Fort Sumter National Monument, where the Civil War really started. And uh, that's a fun little uh, little day trip out there, half day trip out there. Um, kind of learn how the how Civil War started and, and learn the unique history of that, that little island there in the fort. Uh, let's see, we got Charleston, Charleston Tea Plantation. Oh, man, this is actually a really fun place to go to. Um, I think it's one of the few places in North America where tea is actually grown. Um, it was really fun to learn the history of tea and how it's made and just the whole process. Um, super interesting. And we got to, got to try a lot of teas while we were there. So um, it was a good time. And let's see, Columbia, South Carolina, um, the capital of South Carolina. That's the state capital, which we, my mom and I went into. Um, Columbia is a cool town. They got a, <laughs> uh, the world's largest fire hydrant there. Um, that, was, that was a fun little stop there as well. And looks like we're into Florida here. We got St. Pete Beach, Florida. Um, went down and visited some family in St. Pete Beach. Uh, beautiful, beautiful area. Great place to hang out, enjoy the water, and live the Florida life. And I got another one of St. Pete Beach. Um, love the sunsets down there. That was such a every day. The sunset was uh, pretty amazing. Now we're into uh, Oklahoma, which is a trip I took not too long ago. Um, I actually really liked Oklahoma. And I uh, love the state capitol, which is in this next postcard. Um, Oklahoma has a really unique history, and I really enjoyed it. Um, so there's inside the state capitol. There's an outside picture of it right there. And uh, some other images from Oklahoma. Um, yeah, let's see what else we got here. The end of the trail, this is at the... Um, uh, Museum of Western States or something like that. Um, located at the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum. Yeah. Um, so this is a really famous statue here. But that was, uh, that was a fun place to visit as well. And uh, we're almost done with this pile and then we'll, we'll call it good uh, for now. Um, oops, not hit the camera there. <laughs> Uh, Eureka Springs in, uh, in Arkansas. This was a fun place to visit as well. 
Uh, this Thorn Crown Chapel is, is really, really cool, just outside of Eureka Springs. Um, such a unique, unique place. And Eureka Springs is a unique town. Um, I really enjoyed spending, uh, spending part of a day there. Um, fun little kind of getaway town. Um, that's, that's a little bit quirky, I would say. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's a fun place to visit as well. Um, it's in northwest uh, Arkansas, not too far from Bentonville. There's another picture of it. The streets are very hilly there. Um, one of the fun things about Eureka Springs is that they have this Christ of the Ozarks, um, this Jesus statue that's meant to um, kind of uh, imitate the one in uh, Brazil. And uh, th this whole area, they have a place where every, every year they do uh, like the uh, Stations of the Cross and stuff like that and have a lot of Christian uh, or biblical plays and stuff like that there. But just outside of Eureka Springs. Uh, let's see. In fact, got a couple more from Oklahoma here. Oklahoma City. I really enjoyed Oklahoma City. There's a lot to see there. Uh, this is the National Memorial where uh, they had the Oklahoma City uh, bomber. Um, which this is, these are inside here. Um, yeah. So I, this is a good museum, especially uh, having been very young when this happened, or I don't even know if I was born yet. But uh, yeah, kind of kind of interesting to learn about that because that this is one of the first like modern era uh, tragedies to happen like this. So uh, pretty interesting. And uh, that's it for that pile. So I think we'll call it good here. And um, I'll have uh, other parts for the, for the other uh, postcards because there's a lot more. So <laughs> stay, stay tuned for more. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy those. Hopefully it uh, gives you some images of some great places around the world. And uh, we'll see you around the world soon.